Today, we're diving into something super cool and a little bit wacky. Leap Day. Ever heard of it? Well, if not, you're in for a treat. Did you know that without Leap Day, our calendar would be all out of whack? We'd be off by about 24 days every century. Can you imagine celebrating Christmas in the middle of summer? Crazy, right? But don't worry because our buddy Julius Caesar came to the rescue way back in 46 BCE. He introduced the first leap year. Thanks, Julius. Now, here's a fun fact. People born on leap day are called leaplings. Imagine only having a birthday once every four years. Would you celebrate on February 28th or March 1st in non-leap years? Let us know in the comments. Get this, there are over 4 million leaplings around the world. That's like a whole city of people celebrating their birthday on the same day. Now, wouldn't that be a party? And guess what? There's even an international club for leaplings called the Honor Society of Leap Year Babies. Over 10,000 members strong. Talk about a leap in good time. Now, some cultures use a lunar calendar, which is based on the moon's movement. And get this. Every three years, they add a whole leap month. Imagine having an extra month of summer vacation. Sign me up. But wait, there's more. The Summer Olympic Games. Yep, you guessed it. They're held every four years like leap years. How cool is that? Now here's a little math challenge for you. On a typical calendar year, there are 525,600 minutes. But on leap years, there are 527,400 minutes. What will you do with those extra 1,440 minutes during a leap year? Let us know in the comments. Well, that's it for today, folks. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more fun facts and adventures. Until next time, keep on leaping. Bye.